Uh, yeah, so my name is William Young, and uh, today I'm going to show you the third quick demo. Uh, the outline is <clears throat> first. I will give you some background uh, about uh, what what is quick protocol, and then uh, what we have done in last sprints. <clears throat> And I want to introduce more information about this <coughs> this sprint about uh, uh, I call the MQTT early entry. Uh, then I will give you a, a short overview about what we will do in the demo. Uh, then I will show you our next plan. Then some Q and Q and A session. <coughs> Uh, so first, give you what is quick. Uh, quick is layer for transport protocol runs over <coughs> UDP, and it's uh, if it has been decided to be the transport of HTTP three. Uh, it has some many nice features, and uh, one of them is that uh, it it suggests people to do do the developing in a user space, not in closed space to speed up the iterate iterations and make it easier to upgrade and patching the, the stack. Uh, and also <clears throat> uh, it has supports zero RTT, uh, which means if the, the device has been connected to the server before, it can it doesn't need many um, round trip to establish new connections, which is very good for those uh, um, power sensitive uh, devices like yeah <clears throat> like sensors or something <clears throat> and also it supports multiplexing that means you can have you can only need to, you, you you can have one connection and uh, having multiple streams uh, inside and uh, then each uh, streams will not in, in, in impact each other so no blocking um, uh, the third part is uh, it, it, uh, it, it gives you con congestion control in user space, gives a lot of uh, freedom to the application. This is the basically uh, the nice features it has. <coughs> um, so what is Quicker? Quicker is uh, Erlang NIF, uh, native implementation. Uh, bas basically, we bring in uh, Microsoft uh, implementation of Quick into Erlang ecosystem and uh, we call it uh, quicker and uh, I listed to uh, github repo here um, yeah so so uh, in this demo I will show you about how we try to uh, transport M MQTT over quick uh, since uh, there is no MQTT standard for uh, running on top of Quick, uh, and there's no draft, and we are the pilot. Uh, because uh, EMQX, we see the <clears throat> great potential of Quick as a transport for MQTT, um, uh, and we want to make use of, make use of those uh, Quick protocol features, and uh, we will hopefully impact uh, the standard standard organization standardized organization. <clears throat> okay, so some updates since last demo. Uh, so in last sprint, we, we have uh, finished upgrading the Microsoft Quick version from 0 0.9 to 1 1.2. Uh, <clears throat> uh, 1.2 is the latest stable version. Um, and uh, we implement uh, lots of settings, options, and make it more usable. Uh, so less hard-coded uh, options. Uh, and the third one is that we, uh, so Quick, Quick is not a library anymore. It's also a Erlang application, which means it, it brings in some supervision trees and it can initialize the Quick uh, library doing the startup and it also supports running multiple applications over a quick protocol. <clears throat> uh, yeah, and then the first one is, uh, as I mentioned, we have uh, a simple supervision tree for managing those 
listeners, uh, connections, and streams. Um, yeah, and uh, we also try the early entry. Um, I, I will show you in the next page. So for for uh, putting MQT over Quick, we have changed the EMQTT client. Uh, we introduce one new uh, option, enable quick, true, means that uh, the client will try to use the quick protocol. And we added a new transport module, uh, EMQTT quick. <clears throat> That's for the client, uh, EMQTT client. Uh, the next one is for EMQX broker. We bring in the in quicker application. And we add some, uh, some yeah. In this table, I go through it one more one. <clears throat> so for the TCP and the SSL, we used to have ESOCD. Uh, now we for for quick, we add uh, this quicker application. And for listen module, uh, TCP has uh, ESOCD, and uh, quick has quicker listener from quicker application. And for transform module. ESOCD has uh, ESOCD transport, and for Quick we have two uh, because in Quick you have both connection and stream. Uh, and I want to mention that in this this uh, demo version we have one stream in one connection, and we and then la later on we can try to add more streams. It, it's a it's a limitation in this EMQX uh, the quicker application already supports multi streams in one connection. And uh, yeah, the, the, the nice part is for the application callback, uh, both of them, they use uh, EMQX connection callback. So, so we don't need to uh, change that much for integrating quick. And for the application protocol name, uh, they all use MQTT. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so what, what I, I'm going to do in this demo is that I will have one broker for clients and the broker is EM, EMQX uh, here. And I will have, uh, uh, oh, sorry. I, I, oh, yeah. So I will have four uh, clients, uh, two TCP clients. Uh, as you can see here, it's uh, one publisher, one publisher, one subscriber and uh, have quick uh, clients, two quick clients, one sub subscriber, one publisher. And they, they will, all, all the four clients, they will do on the same topic. <laughs> so we will see uh, the printout, printouts. Yeah, then that's the cons uh, I will use. And uh, yeah, I will show you in the, the real console. Okay, and, uh, then go. Let's go to the demo. <clears throat> yeah. So on the left window, I have the big one for uh, starting EMQX, and uh, I starting debug mode. And some for some reason, the configuration generating configuration takes some time. Uh, yeah. I will troubleshoot it, it later. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, as you can see that we have this uh, quick listener, listening on 1457. Uh, now, Alexander. Yeah, uh, and in this application, I show you that why well, we have quicker and application and has a supervision tree. And you see that we have a, a listener supervi super supervisor, which have, which <coughs> so <coughs> one uh, MQTT over quick application now, and it has a, a listener of uh, a list of 32 um, subscribe, uh, sorry, uh, acceptors. So in this demo, we will have both uh, connection listener and the stream listener in one, one process. 
And uh, every time we have a new uh, connection, it will create another uh, acceptor. So the, uh, yeah, <clears throat> you will see it soon. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go back to the client side. Uh, we have, uh, for this window, uh, we, I will start a subscriber running on quick and uh, port 1456.7. Uh, and uh, topic test quick and keep live stream because I I put a uh, idle connection time timeout five uh, in the in QX broker so three setting this keep alive to three is a reasonable value <clears throat> so we'll start it now mm. yeah and you see that uh, this one. <clears throat> as a <clears throat> child process that. Then I'll start uh, a subscriber for TCP, uh, leaving all the, most of the parameter default, so it will be TCP. Yeah, now comes to the exciting part. I will start a uh, publisher uh, with quick transport um, port 1456.7 as well. And uh, the payload will be hello quick. Uh, Repeat 100 times and I put it in a while loop. Uh, hopefully next time I will finish the uh, integration with low gems and I can show you some uh, nice, uh, nice demo with uh, low gem. So I'll start it. Yeah, uh, as you can see that both subscribers, they got the messages. <clears throat> yeah, uh, and then I will start the TCP publisher with payload hello TCP. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think it's one subscriber, one publisher. And since we start the publisher in each shell, so it's, you see it's jumping around. <clears throat> okay, uh, that's it for this uh, demo. Uh, let's go back to the presentation. Um, so what's next? Uh, so the next, our, our next sprint, we will try to leave the pork. pork. Um, there are some, missing error handling and we need to uh, have a deep understanding about uh, uh, Microsoft Quick Stack uh, because uh, uh, doing developing of Quick uh, of Quark, I, I found it's not, sometimes it's the API is not that robust and we, so we need to prevent some code and such like that. Uh, <clears throat> and we will try to go to production grade and uh, um, yeah, we will add more more tests, uh, and uh, we will do some low low tests. And we have a discussion about our planning. You can find it here in this in this link. Uh, yeah. So, any questions? Oh, I yeah. I also have this uh, dashboard. Let's see, it works. Yeah. Uh, any questions? <laughs> William, could you show us the uh, the discussion, uh, the GitHub discussion? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. Hey, William, thanks. It's impressive. Sorry, I missed it. Oh, thanks. The progress is impressive. It's indeed impressive. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> no, uh, it's not there. It's... Yeah, Yeah, so basically this is the, uh, yeah. 
Uh, William, could you give us a quick introduction of the timeline? Yeah. Where we are right now and uh, where we are going. So I think basically we are here now, uh, MQTT product integration. Uh, there are some small missing part I will add it, uh, like uh, setting the socket opts, uh, some, some parameters are missing. Mm, and uh, I will add more test cases in, in these two libraries, uh, in these two applications, uh, MQTT and EMQX. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, the last time we have put in progress in the dev pipeline and usability. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that's all done. Yeah, we, we can update that also. Yeah. I will update afterwards. And uh, error handling, yeah, is our next part. We will add a lot of uh, test case, uh, property-based, uh, trace-based, which using Snap Cafe, developed by uh, Dimitri. And then we will have uh, more C code tests uh, using Google tests and some static analysis tools for both airline C code. <clears throat> yeah, and then the, our next step will be uh, low test, robust test, yeah. This is great. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's still running, <laughs> so. Yeah, okay, uh, any more questions? Excellent. Oh. Okay, uh, I have a question. Okay. Uh, with errors in a Microsoft Quick Library, crash the Erlang VM. Sorry, uh, could you repeat the question? Uh, I mean, uh, the errors in uh, Microsoft Quick, Quick uh, Library. Yeah. Maybe crash the Oh, no, yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, sometimes like, uh, let's say when we try to close a connection uh, uh, and uh, Microsoft, uh, the, the MS Quick stack will sometimes crash because uh, it already crashed. It, it, uh, the, the connection has been closed in the callback. Um, to me, this is not robust enough, but uh, I understand it's a C code and, uh, and the, the, yeah, the buffer or the handler has been uh, delocated or something like, like that. And uh, we, we have some mechanism to prevent uh, the, the crash and uh, also restart the stack. Uh, I have some idea like uh, we can handle, it, handle those uh, signals and then just restart the stack. Uh, Probably in the next next sprint or the next the next two, we can try to <clears throat> uh, implement that part because we're in other NIFs. They like level DB NIF. They also do the same. They catch the signal and then restart. It's doable. Yes. Uh, okay. Thanks. Awesome. Let's move on to uh, Udai. Okay.